American Time, Integrated Solutions from the Clock Experts. To get started with this advanced example, I'm going to import the schedule I already created. I'll select my file called allevents.ats and hit open. My full schedule now appears. You'll notice my events are assigned to either schedule 1, 2, 3, or 4. You want to use the schedule switching feature under the circuit tab for schedule changes that are unplanned. For this example, I'll be using a snow day. Schedule 1 is my regular high school schedule. School starts at 7.30 a.m. and classes continue through 3.30 p.m. with a 30-minute lunch. Schedule 2 is my special high school schedule that I use on snow days. The schedule is set up for days when students arrive two hours late because of the bad weather in the morning. You'll notice the classroom bells are set to ring every 45 minutes. Since the middle school is attached to the high school, I can easily ring the bells in that building also. I have set up the events on Schedule 3 for the middle school's regular schedule, and events on Schedule 4 for their half day when the students arrive two hours late. I recommend exporting your events to a file on your computer so you can have a backup copy, and also printing a hard copy for easy reference when you don't have a computer turned on. I'll click Export and save my schedules to a single backup file called allevents.backup.ats. Now if we go over to the Circuit tab, we can assign Schedule 1 to Circuit 1, and we'll name the circuit High School. Schedule switching is a feature that allows me to switch between my regular full day schedule and my late start snow schedule. The first switch I want to occur is to Schedule 2, my special schedule. I'll select a time early in the morning. Since the snow day only lasts one day, I'm going to set switching 2 to revert back to my original Schedule 1 at the end of the day. I'll set up my middle school schedule much the same way. Schedule 3 will initially be assigned to Circuit 2. Remember, Schedule 3 is my regular, everyday middle school schedule. My first schedule switch is to Schedule 4, my middle school special schedule, at 3 a.m. And my second switch is back to Schedule 3 later that night after the students have left the building. I'll label the circuit middle school and click update. Now we want to test our bells and make sure we have them properly wired and configured. Choose manual activation and enable circuits 1 and 2. Click and hold the wired button and you should hear your bells ringing. You can also do schedule changing while in the event tab. If you have planned teacher in-service days or other schedules that are different from your normal daily schedule and you know about them in advance, this is where you want to set up schedule switching. For example, let's say teacher in-service days are always the first Tuesday of the month. Classes are shortened to 45 minutes from their normal 60 minutes, and they don't start until 9.30 a.m., two hours later than normal. To set up the schedule change, we'll click the Add button. From the Event Edit pop-up, we'll choose Schedule 1, our normal daily schedule, and click the radio button for Schedule Change. I'll choose September 3rd for the special event date, and choose Schedule 2. I'll want the schedule change to occur early in the morning, so I'll set that for 3 a.m. and I'll hit accept. Now the schedule is set to change to our late start schedule on September 3rd. Since this is a one-day teacher in service, we'll want our schedule to switch back to the normal schedule the next day. Click the Add button, change the date to September 4th, in the Change Schedule 2 drop-down, Select one and hit accept. You can now continue scheduling your changes for the rest of the school year following the same procedure. You can view all of your schedule changes by clicking schedule, select changes and hit refresh.